A pleasant, pleasant, pleasant good morning to everybody around the world. 2020 was a rough year for a lot of people. We lost a lot of lives. A lot of people got sick. A lot of people got killed. But we have to give God thanks that we are in 2021. I pray and I hope that this video touched the lives of other people to inspire them to do the right thing. We are here today. And we only have God to give thanks for. This pandemic have a lot of people losing their jobs. A lot of people lose their lives. A lot of people lose their houses. A lot of people lose their kids, their family. But we have to keep in mind that God is the biggest person in the world to keep us together. He is a person who's going to deliver us from where we is today to a better tomorrow. So let's keep our head up. And let's keep positive and let's keep thinking that, hey, he's going to deliver us. He's going to move us. He's going to bring us through anything that we're going through. So let's give him thanks and let's give him praise. We are now in 2021. A lot of people is not here today. So we have to give him thanks. We have to give him praise. We have to give him the most glory, the most blessings of the all for us to be here. You know how much people have lost and lost their lives over the years that's passed away. A lot of young people passed away. A lot of people who say there's going to be here for a lifetime to say to see us graduated, to see us get married, to see us be happy, to see us be successful. They are not here today. So we have to keep in mind that what God is doing is well kept with us. We cannot question him. We cannot ask him why. But we have to give him thanks. We have to give him praise. We have to give him the glory. So I want to pray for the world. I don't want to pray just for my family. I don't want to pray for my surroundings. I want to pray for the people in the Bahamas. I want to pray for the whole entire world because this whole world, we had a destructing year that passed, even down to 9-11. So for those that lost a loved one, for those who had, who had lost someone there close to them, let's pray. And pray with me, pray with me right now. Father God, I ask that you guide and protect the family. Father God, I ask that you guide and protect this world, Father God. I ask that you look over us, Father God. Keep us safe and keep us covered in the blood of Jesus, Father God. Father God, we are not questioning what you are doing, Father God. A lot have lost their lives. A lot has passed away over the years, Father God. Father God, you deliver us from 2020 to 21 now, Father God. This is a new year. This is a new season, Father God. We know you have bigger things in store for our family. We know that you're going to deliver us, Father God. Father God, I pray for those who do not have a job right now, Father God. I pray for those who do not have a house. Father God, I pray for those who have lost their family and trying to make a new better life for, they, for themselves, Father God. I ask that you guide and protect them and keep them safe and covered in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Listen, this is our season for, for everyone to be a better person. This is our season to uplift ourselves. So just be encouraged and always remember whatever God is doing. Is not because of us and not because of you. He know what he's doing for us. He know what he want us, where he want us to be. So let's keep encouraging. Let's keep our mindset that hey, our Father God is there and he is always know what he's doing. Keep encouraging. Keep your head up. This is Tony from the Bahamas, all over the world. I am praying with you guys. I know you lost a loved one, but keep your head up and keep encouraged. All right.